Oh, maybe I should have done a couple of push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, what's going on? Today is Monday, March the 25th. And, hey, i got a special guest today, my man, Jake Fernicola. If you know anything about Woodmont High School, you know how important Jake is to the success that we've had. Jake, tell us a little bit about your junior year so far, starting with football. What kind of football season did you have? Uh, you know, stuff really started to come together halfway during the season, and we really started to see the momentum pick up, the hard work and the guys, and the spirit kind of got raised. And You know, I think that's going to send us with some great momentum going into next year, and we are got high, high eyes for the... Now tell me about the playoff game. For the first time in school history, or not school history, but the first time yeah, in a long, long, long time, time, we actually won five games in a row. We, we finished in second place to T.L. Hanna, who eventually is the uh, place in the state championship game yeah. down in Columbia. And we actually have a home playoff game against Gaffney. What was that like for you? Uh, that was a very emotional and intense game for all of the guys. And, you know, I think having that close tough loss is really kind of what sparked us into next year you know you kind of need something like that just to give you some more motivation and i think that's what's going to help us this year now you were on conference isn't that right yes, Jake? Sir. on both sides of the ball yes sir now how about that too on both sides he plays offense and defense tell you an unbelievable story we played at lawrence high school and uh, jake played on both sides of the ball he didn't come off the field and after the game was over he jumps into his dad's Suburban, and they drive all the way up to Virginia, and Jake wrestles in a national wrestling tournament. He comes back with a trophy over there on my uh, file cabinet that's about this big. He won a national tournament, even though he had played a full-speed uh, varsity football game and never came off the field. But fast forward to this winter. Jake also is a wrestler here. He's at 220. He wrestles in the weight class 220. And tell us about the wrestling season that you had. I mean, you know, I, was, I did have my losses, and, you know, that did kind of give me some fire because it's like nobody hates losing. And my, I always remember what my dad says, if you're not working, then the other guy is. And so I just try and keep that in my head, is, especially once playoffs come around, is just try and get better, sharpen up right. everything. Work with somebody that you can't beat just to get you better is what I was trying to do. So... I was proud of my efforts in that. So. Yeah, when the individual tournament started, you go to Lawrence the yeah. first night, you advance to the second day on Saturday down at the Anderson Co uh, Anderson Civic Center, and on Saturday, tell me what happens. Uh, last year I got third, so I was a little bit nervous when I was like, hey, uh, I got third last year, I should be able to do a little bit higher this year. I know I've got some other strong competitors, so, competitors, so I had to respect them. And, you know, I just tried to not think and just wrestle with my heart. What did it feel like standing on the on top of the uh, podium and that guy put the medal around your neck and knowing that in the state of South Carolina, nobody was better in 220? Oh, uh, it was definitely indescribable. Like, I just was filled with joy and pride. I was so happy to see everyone around me, all my supporters, all my friends that I've trained with all the years, and it was just incredible. Well, I, I hope that you know that didn't happen by mistake. That happened because of all the work and the dedication and the time that you've put in. Ladies and gentlemen, Jake Fernicola, one of the best ever. We are Woodmont. See ya.